BB386 EVO crankset on BB30 frame installation. BB30 frame inspection. The inspection can be performed with the BB30 shell diameter go no go gauge, the BB30 bearing seat alignment gauge. BB30 shell diameter go no go gauge. The BB30 shell ID go no go gauge quickly verifies the bearing seat diameter is within specification for proper bearing fit. Ensure the surfaces to be inspected are clean and free of debris, dirt or excess paint. The shell ID gauge is two-sided. Insert the side labeled GO into the right and left side of the bottom bracket shell. If the gauge does not fully insert into either end of the shell, the shell diameter is undersized and cannot be used until reamed to the proper diameter. Next, insert the side labeled NG into the right and left side of the bottom bracket shell. The gauge must not fit into either end of the shell. If the no-go side of the gauge fits into the bottom bracket shell, the inner diameter is oversized and cannot be used. BB30 Bearing Alignment Gauge The BB30 Bearing Alignment Gauge has two parts. The gauge quickly verifies the bearing seats are in alignment with each other. If the bearing seats aren't aligned, the bearings will bind when the crankset is installed. Insert the shaft with handle into left or right BB shell opening. Slide the opposing side of the gauge onto the shaft. If gauge binds or needs excessive force to fully seat within bottom bracket shell, this indicates the shell is not aligned and cannot be used until the alignment can be corrected with a BB30 shell reamer. Installing a crankset into a frame that has a bottom bracket that is outside the standard BB30 tolerances will result in bottom bracket noise, excess rotational friction, and premature bearing failure. FSA BB386 EVO Road Crank Arm Installation Tools Grease Circlip Pliers BB30 FSA Bearing Installation Press EE037 Torque Wrench up to 55 Newton Meters 10 mm Allen Key 32 mm Wrench Frame Preparation Ensure the bottom bracket shell surfaces are clean and free of debris, dirt or excess paint before bearings installation. Apply a thin layer of grease to the inside surface of the bottom bracket shell. Do not face or machine BB shell. It is not necessary for BB30 system. BB shell circlips installation. Using circlip pliers, insert the circlips into the machined groove in bottom bracket shell. Ensure circlip is fully seated in groove. BB30 Bearings Installation Using the FSA Bearing Installation Press EE037 and 32mm wrench, press one BB30 bearing into the shell until it is butted against the circlip. Do not over tighten the installation press or the circlip may get damaged and need to be replaced. Install the opposite bearing using the same procedure.
Note that both right and left BB30 bearings are the same. BB30 bearings must be installed aligned with the BB shell. Bearings installed not parallel may cause prematurely bearing wear and bottom bracket shell inner surface damage. BB386 EVO Road Crank Arm Installation Apply a thin layer of grease on the inside of the MW258 adapters. Slide one of the adapters on the spindle with the small outside diameter side facing toward the crank spider. Install the drive side bearing cover on the spindle with rubber side facing outward. Apply a thin layer of grease on machined grooves of bearing cover. Completely insert the right crank arm and spindle through the BB30 bearings. Apply a light layer of grease to bearing already installed in the bottom bracket shell. Install the non-drive bearing cover with the rubber side facing outward and place the remaining MW258 adapter on the spindle with the small outside diameter side facing away from bearing. Install the wave spring washer over spindle on left side of bottom bracket shell. Install the non-drive crank arm over spindle. Thread the self-extracting bolt into spindle and tighten using a torque wrench and a 10 millimeter Allen key. Tighten crank bolt to a torque of 38 to 41 Newton meters or 337 to 363 inch pounds. Be careful not to over tighten the crank bolt. The wave spring washer does not need to be completely compressed for the crank set to function properly. If the wave spring washer is not providing bearing preload when crank bolt is tightened to 55 Newton meters or there is play in the BB30 crank system, do not tighten further. Use the 0.5 millimeter BB30 plastic shims included with the crank set between the wave spring washer and crank arm to aid the wave spring washer in providing correct bearing preload and removing any play in the system. BB30 Bearing Removal Tools The Professional FSA BB30 Bearing Removal Tool, number EE038, has three parts. Tilt threaded shaft segment inward and position the flattened portion on the inside face of the bearing. Slide cup guide over shaft so that it is in contact with frame BB shell. Thread the nut over the threaded shaft segment and turn with a 32 millimeter wrench. Extract the bearing by turning the nut counterclockwise with the 6mm Allen tool. BB30 Bearing Maintenance Tools With the bearing removed from the BB shell, carefully remove both bearing seals using a razor blade or scratch all. If the seals look worn, damaged, or discolored, they should be replaced during assembly. Use a gentle solvent to clean bearing. Do not use alkali or acid-based solvents on the bearing. Let bearing dry before applying new grease.
Rotate the bearing races by hand. Check for looseness, grit feel, or roughness. If bearings feel loose or rough when cleaned, they may be worn or damaged and need replacing. Using a grease syringe, inject 0.5 milliliters of bearing grease into bearing on side where the bearing balls are showing. Do not apply to side with bearing cage showing. Carefully reinstall bearing seals to original position. Ensure the seal is flat and evenly placed between bearing races. Rotate bearing by hand to allow grease to settle in between bearings. For ceramic ball bearings, use grease syringe with high quality low friction grease included in crankset package.